I've been at this for a few hours. I managed to get um, more work done in here, which, I mean, it's such a tiny area, but it just requires so much fiddly work. And I got the bottom and side done on this, um, both sides. Uh, I can't actually, even, so maybe you can see that. I hope you can see that because I can't. Anyway, got that done and uh, I finished something up in here, but I can't for the life of me remember what, because all of this was done previously. Anyway, I was in this area and when the lights were on and I looked over here, uh, oh, that was the piece that I got done. I put the drywall up. It's been a long day, sorry. Anyway, uh, I got the drywall up. I was standing here, I looked over and it was just dark and gloomy and that's not my taste. So. I decided to take the drywall down and I'm going to wire in the light. I've yanked what, um, what's the word, slack I could from the wire so I don't like making tight 90 degree, uh, you can see how I, I twist the wires. This is about as tight as I go. I might be being too fussy, but that's what I saw the electrician suggesting on uh, YouTube is you don't want to have a tight tight corner because they get hot or they can get hot and so you know why would I introduce that risk into my house when I have lots of time and an entire spool of wire is you know only a couple hundred bucks so <sighs> all right so then um, that's where I'm at right now I've got the spare there's the light that I shoved into the hole just to make sure that it would fit because it's the hole you can see where I actually scored the joist it's it's so close to the joist the hole is and i mean the, the joist blocks it so i wasn't sure that the light would actually fit but it does and so i'll be taking a little while to put that uh puppy up and there we have the finished product just a little less dreary having that light all by itself and i'll leave this area unlit so that the distinction between the kitchen and the rest of the house is obvious.